Hello, welcome back to the channel. Right before I start, I would just like to say that the following story that I'm about to read was suggested by one of my subscribers, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica, for the suggestion. I appreciate it greatly. And if anybody else has suggestions for stories you'd like me to read, please let me know in the comments down below or you can let me know in my channel's Discord. You can find a link to my channel's Discord in the, dis the video's description. So again, Thank you, Jessica, for your suggestion. I appreciate it greatly. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you remember watching Looney Tunes as a kid. So do I. And my favorite character was Sylvester the Cat. Until one night back in the summer of 1998, I saw an episode that rather frightened me. But since the cartoon played late at night, when I should have already gotten to bed, I was half asleep, so I only remember parts of it. Like a creepy TV in Sylvester's room that turned it on all by itself. I thought, maybe, it was just a nightmare. Sadly, it wasn't. The following summer, me and my brother were bored on an afternoon, so we decided to watch some TV. We flicked to Cartoon Network, just in time when Looney Tunes was starting. It played two normal episodes, featuring Sylvester. Nothing special, except for one thing. When its second part was coming to its end, me and my brother felt like something wasn't right. We thought that it might show that certain episode once again, and then it happened. This episode didn't have the usual opening which many of the Looney Tunes segments had, neither the catchy title music. It just skipped it right to the title screen. No fade or anything, it just switched it right there. There was no title written on the screen, instead it showed the living room of a house. The layouts were drawn entirely with only two colors, blood red and black as emptiness. There wasn't any music either. The only sound that could be heard during this part was a woman saying, directed by. The creepy thing about it was that the audio used it our country's native language, Hungarian. And this happened way before Cartoon Network started broadcasting cartoons recorded in Hungarian. Also, it sounded like the announcer was slowly being strangled. Once more, the cartoon never faded to the beginning, it simply switched right there. It showed Sylvester standing in front of something that looked like a military base from the Second World War. There wasn't any music or sound here either, just dead silence. Sylvester also didn't look like he did in the other cartoons. He looked bruised and badly beaten. His eyes had no pupils. Sylvester didn't say anything, he just looked really angry. In the next scene, he entered the military base. It was empty. No guards or soldiers were present, but Sylvester still entered. He wanted to get revenge on whoever was inside for what they presumably did to him. So he decided to sabotage the facility by destroying all the lights hanging from the ceiling. This scene looks very disturbing. While Sylvester was tearing down each light fixture, his claws grew to a ridiculous size. With every swipe, blood and oil trickled down his hands. The only audio that could be heard during this scene was the sound of sparking electricity, which sounded very loud and frighteningly realistic. The scene was also flashing rapidly, making it appear even more unnerving and dangerous to anyone who suffers from epilepsy. The entire sequence repeated itself 10 times before it cut to the next scene. In the next scene, Sylvester was now at home, but Granny, Tweety, and Hector were nowhere to be found. He was all alone, his room appeared empty and surreal. The floor was blood red and the walls looked like they were on fire. The room contained two tables, a large one that had a toy Dalek and a screwdriver on it, along with a smaller one 
which included an ancient TV set facing directly at the viewer. There was also a window in the background, but the beams were misaligned, so it resembled an inverted crucifix. Outside, it was just pitch black, not as if it was night outside, but like if there literally was no existence outside. Sylvester proceeded to repair his toy Dalek with the screwdriver, when suddenly, the TV on a smaller table behind him turn it on by itself. The camera slowly zoom it in on the TV, which displayed a glitchy input screen. The audio now consisted of distorted static and white noise. Then a few seconds later, a video flickered on the television screen. The TV screen showed an extremely unsettling cartoon. The background music sounded like someone repeatedly banging the keys on an organ. Underscore was in reverse and played back at a slower pitch. It started by showing a forest with a cartoony moon above it who had a creepy look on its face. A few seconds later it switched to a narrow room. The room itself appeared empty but something could be heard lurking at one end of the room. Whatever it was made a metallic thumping sound with each step. Five seconds later, it switched to the other end of the room. Porky Pig was standing there, also looking angry, and he was holding a pistol in his hand. However, he didn't appear bruised like Sylvester did. He said something inaudible to the monster at the other end of the room then fired his gun a few times. After that, it cut to static and a loud bang was heard. The screen faded to black. A few seconds later, the screen faded back to Sylvester in his room, standing next to the wreckage of his destroyed TV. He looked even more angry, even more bruised, and his eyes were a dark red this time. The disturbing image of angry Sylvester stayed on the screen for about 10 seconds, then it just went to black. About half a minute later, Cartoon Network came back on with a coming up next bumper.